What's up, Dirty Cones? Cody and I are heading home from work. It's a beautiful day at Inland Surf Park. Uh, water's perfect. Life is good. Nice clouds in the sky. Clear blue skies. Happy white clouds. Ta-da. So, um, man. Um, so, first off, I believe that... This could be, uh, here's a mantra kind of way, by any means necessary, but with always doing the right thing, or with uh, integrity. So by any means necessary, but you always maintain the high ground, you always maintain your integrity, you always do the right thing, and I do not... Do not think that you can go wrong if that's the way that you put forth your effort and with good intention. Uh, I'm a firm believer. I know that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Um, many people who have tried to do the right thing and didn't, but you know what the right thing is because your dirty comes. It's like inherent in you. Oh, I, yes, I understand the right thing. So always do the right thing and by any means necessary and you will you'll make it because as I've said before if you're not going to quit and you're not going to die because they're not going to let you you have no other option but to pass so train like you're going to die before you quit and since we're not going to quit we're going to make it and, and then if we don't make it you know at least you know you gave it your best so 150% all the time and uh, it's up Saturday and Sundays when you're relaxing. <laughs> uh, play hard, work hard. Ta-da. Um, so like I was saying, a lot of people lately seem to be having a rough time. Uh, and I know that, you know, the election season uh, seems everybody mildly, if not depressed, bewildered. And, uh, you know, times are tough. Some people are without homes, uh, you know, or, or on tough times. But if you maintain the high ground and you always do the right thing and you're prepared, things will open up, right? Ask for help. And, and even if you're just asking, like, hey, can you confirm that this is a good idea? Or what, what do you think? If you were in my position, what do you think you would do? Get a second opinion. Get someone else to be like, hey, dude, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm having a rough time with this. I'm fighting. I'm this. I'm that. What do you think? Oh, dude, this is what you should do. You know what? That's what I was thinking. Or maybe that's what I was actually doing. But thank you for, you know, confirming that this is a good idea. So uh, it's never wrong to ask for help, uh, especially if you end up in some dark place or things are really, really bad. Please ask for help. Um, because that's just the right thing to do. Uh, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. It doesn't make you weak. It makes you strong. Because nobody is perfect. Nobody, uh, no man or woman is an island. And it takes a tribe or a village to raise us. And so be open up for any possibilities. So ask the questions. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just make it quickie. I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, by any means necessary, with integrity. And that's how you live. Always maintain the high ground, and you'll you'll come out in the end. It may not always be pretty. I can tell you that it is not pretty. Some of the times are the miracles that have worked for me. But uh, doing good deeds and being a good person goes a long way. Uh, I think I've, I've, I'm pretty sure I told the story, but I'll tell it real quick. We were in Iraq. No, I'm sorry. We were in Afghanistan. I was working with some cops. Uh, we were getting sniper fire and mortared. And so I helped the cops set up uh, systems so they could anchor themselves up high enough so they could uh, return fire on the people that were shooting on us. And didn't think anything of it. You know, one force, one fight. Just helping out, you know, protect us, protect them. 
do the right thing, no worries. Uh, years later, I may allegedly have been speeding on base, um, and I got pulled over, and you know, handed my my ID card and driver's license, and uh, the airman comes back. You know, he runs my stuff, and he comes back, and he says, uh, "Your your name's Mike Maroney." I'm like, "Yeah," and this, you know, prior people and all this, you know, so I'm still nobody. Even though I'm still nobody, <laughs> but way before I was, I was still nobody, nobody. So comes back and says, uh, you "Mike Maroney, yeah, you a PJ?" I'm like, "Yes, sir." And he says, "My um, my team lead says that you're a good dude and you helped him in Afghanistan when they were needing to do anchors and systems and things." And uh, he vouched for you. Said you're a good guy drive slowly and handing me back my ID and my kids are in the back and I'm like turning around and I go and that's why we're nice to everybody we don't do anything mean to anybody and we treat everybody with respect and you know got me out of a ticket so I was very grateful um, so always do the right thing and you will never be wrong even if it goes all to shit you know you did the right thing you know you tried your hardest you know you did your best you can sleep well at night and that's what's important is that you go to bed at night you're not afraid to look in the mirror you're not afraid to look at yourself you're not afraid to examine yourself um, and you're honest with yourself and with others so integrity goes a long way thank you for listening and uh, stay strong Hoo-yah.